So this is a bit disappointing because I didn't expect this from him. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh 안녕하세요 다우드 킴입니다 So a few days ago I uploaded the video Did RM really said Islam is bad religion? And I said he had no intention to disrespect or insert Islam And a few days later he did live broadcast And as I thought he said he had no intention to disrespect or insert any of faiths or religion So I checked what he said uh, Let's watch together Okay you guys I know what you're talking about you, you just keep telling me that I insulted a religion, but I didn't. There was no any intention or like propose to insult a religion. I respect every beliefs and religions. That's all I could say. So please don't like, you know, there was no such any purpose or at least 1% of my heart or intention to insult a religion, okay? Guys, it's a song, okay? I'm not apologizing. I'm just I'm just saying I have my own soul. I'm 30 years old. I can't I can express my truth out. I just can't lie to you. I'm just I'm just being honest. Okay, please believe me. Okay, so from this video, I think I can understand what he's thinking about this topic. And I understand that he had no purpose or intention to insert or disrespect any of the faith or religion. But still, this is a disappointing. I didn't expect this from him. Yeah, he's 30 years old. He can't say anything what he want to say. And thanks to him, he's honest of his feeling. And I understand he's not lying. But, but still, I didn't uh, expect this from him because I know I know he's a really good person then I'll tell you which point I'm disappointed in him he said there was no need to apologize because he didn't do anything wrong uh, actually I I understand because if he apologized it means like he is admitting that he inserted Islam but but there's one more point if my intention is perceived differently by many people then there's a reason then I have to think about why people would react in this way to be honest Aryam looked really angry about something in this video it seems like he has a lot of things to say to people who are not accepting his intention. Of course, I understand both the Muslims and non-Muslims perspective, but what is the meaning of the insert? So from the Google, speak to or treat with disrespect or scornful abuse. So yeah, I think he doesn't mean to be disrespect or scornful abuse. He just wanted to share a song. Yeah, just just a song. He just shared a song in Instagram. But insert, but insert is it's like similar to violence. Imagine that like if uh, I swinging my arms like this and my arms accidentally hit someone. Accidentally. Of course, I never have any intention to hit someone. So is this violence or not? Of course, my perspective, this is not violence. But if the person who hit by this is very hurt or hurt his feelings, it can be of violence too. So I think that's why it's necessary to try to understand the perspective of the people who think they have been inserted. If many of Muslims are offended by this, then I think he just at least try to understand why they are angry. I still like him and I like BTS. I don't think he's kind of person who disrespect others because I saw him through his activity. What kind of characters he has so far? But in this video, oh, I think his attitude is not very mature. This is kind of not respectful attitude towards Muslims. If I was him, I think I would say like, I really don't have intention to disrespect Islam and Muslims, but I will think about why Muslims think about this topic very seriously. Actually, he missed this point. How seriously do Muslims think about our faith? Allah SWT and our Prophet Muhammad SAW because this is really important for us and this is something that should never be disrespected. He probably think like this, why are they so sensitive? This is, this is just a song. So let me answer, why are Muslims so sensitive? Because this is that important to us because our faith Islam means a lot for us. You know, Islam is not just a religion. This is purpose of our life and the way, the guide for our lives. So for us, this is not just not just a song. Maybe for him, for other people, this can be a just a song. But but for Muslims, the disrespect Islam means different. It's totally different. I like him, I like BTS, but I have to say, as he can say what he thinks, what he feels, I also want to say to him how much Muslims value Islam. And sincerely, I hope this can be a chance for him to learn more about Islam. So I hope Allah guide him on the right path. So I hope he will be not hurt by my words. And 
other some some Muslims blame or something. I just hope he realized how important Islam is to us and how beautiful it is. Maybe it's one of the sign of Allah. Who knows? And let me tell you just one more thing. I hope you guys remember this. Of course, I'm not perfect Muslim, but I have to say this. They are singers. They are just singers who called idol, but I don't like this verse, but just a singer, dance singer. They don't send you to Jannah. They don't. Only Allah can send us to heaven. I want to say we shouldn't idolize them. It's definitely a big sin in Islam, which is called shirk. I also don't want to say this, but we have to admit that. This can never be the standards of our life. Our only role model is our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the only thing that we have to follow is Quran and Hadith. Not BTS, Blackpink, Justin Bieber, whatever. I don't say they're bad. But I want to say we should not waste our time to idolize them, follow them without our face to Islam. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. Maybe the topic I say today is a little bit sensitive and heavy, but I hope you understand my words. Okay, then thank you for watching my video. Take care and be safe. Alhamdulillah. Masalama, Hamzamida. Annyeong. I've been waiting, I've been hurting.